A simile is an explicit comparison between two things, like a metaphor, only using like or as, and comparing rather than equating. It's pretty hard to miss similes. So here's a famous simile of Virgil, comparing the building of Carthage to bees buzzing about in Book 1 of the Aeneid. So let me do the English part at the beginning. Here they dig out the port, here they place the deep foundations for the theater, and they cut out huge columns from rocks, the high decorations for future stages. Just like, this is where the simile begins, the work that busies bees under the sun at the beginning of summer through the flowery countryside, and so on and so on. The simile is here, lines 430 to 436, and introduced by qualis, just as. Latin, just like English, uses very specific words to introduce similes, and these often have meanings along the lines of like or as, like what we saw with qualis, just as in Virgil's B simile above. So along with that one, here's a list of words that commonly introduce similes in Latin. Qualis, just as, and we saw that. Uter, uti, like or as. Velut and veluti, even as or just as. And other authors use tomquam, just as or like as. Similes in the Aeneid are long and intricate. Just look at that B simile. And Virgil spends seven lines describing typical B activity. And we're expected to map the events of the simile onto our plot. So Virgil doesn't tell us anything about the Carthaginians preparing their defenses against foreign invaders, but he expects us to see that because the bees do. But just because Virgil's similes are long and extended, well, most of them, here's one from Book 1, line 82, that's just three words, velut agmine facto, just like with a battle line having been made. Just because they are long doesn't mean all Latin similes have to be long. So here's uh, another one from Ovid's account of Apollo and Daphne that's just two lines. Again, I'll do the English here. Just as hedges burn because of torches, which a traveler by chance either brought too close to or abandoned at dawn. And so the god burst into flames. Ovid's simile here isn't as involved and meaningful as Virgil's similes tend to be. And similes aren't just restricted to poetry. Philosophy, another abstract thought, works well through simile. So just one more example. Here's uh, Cicero, De Republica, uh, 168. And again, the English translation, thus power is like a ball, which is thrown from hand to hand. It passes from kings to tyrants, from tyrants to aristocracies, from them to democracies, and from these back again to tyrants and to factions, and thus the same kind of government is seldom long kept. Uh, pretty profound words there from Cicero. So that's a simile in Latin literature. It's an explicit comparison of one thing to another, but with the emphasis on comparing rather than equating. The two things aren't identical, but similar. In Latin, we see similes introduced by words like qualis, ut, uti, velut, veluti, or tomquam, all of which have a component of like or as in their English translations. They are used to illustrate and describe something in terms more colorful than just simple adjectives.